Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we will be talking about enum with a flag attribute. So if you haven't watched my previous tutorials you can get a quick introduction here. So we have an enum called permission. In, in this enum is der deriving from int. And we have the value none with int value 0, read with 1, write with 2, delete with 3, and modify with 4. So, <coughs> in this uh, tutorial, we will be talking about how can we give a variable multiple enum values. So, if we, for example, try to do it now, we say permission is equal to permissions, oops, permissions dot modify and permissions dot delete perm so we have a warning here because we cannot apply the and can we try to do something like this now we don't have any warning but will this variable have modify and delete as value let's check that up it only have seven so what it did is it took the modify int value and added the delete int value so four plus three and that gave the int value seven so we're not able to add two in values to a variable and that's where the flag attributes come in with a flag attribute we can create us a, a, a variable with a set of enum values so what we have to do is that we have to go back to the enum and add the flag attribute. So we write flags. With that attribute, we can now create a variable with a set of um, a set of enum value. And how do we do that? We do it exactly like this. We write we write the permission dot modify, and we do this bitwise operation. And then we say permission dot delete. So let's see if it works. This worked. So we have a variable now with the value delete and modify. However, if we try to add another in value called permissions dot read and see if that works. So we go up here and press F10. This uh, variable only have delete and modify as uh, uh, as enum values. So it did not get the permission dot read. And that is because when you create an enum with a flag attribute, we are working with bitwise operations. So what we have to do is that each variable here in the enum, the first one has to begin with zero, and that should be none. The second one should be read, should be a value equal to one, and the second one should be uh, the second name and one power to two, and that is two. The third one should be two power to two, and that is four. And the modified, the last one should be four power to two, which is eight. So, uh, because otherwise the bitwise operation will be confused and will not be able to identify exactly which enum values we have chosen. So now when we added all the new int values, so we take the previous one power to 2. So 0 power to 2 is 1. 1 power to uh, 2 is 2. 2 power to uh, 2 is 4. And 4 power to 2 is 8. And then we continue like that. And when we uh, uh, and we know the default uh, the default value the enum derives from is an int, so it actually looks like this. And the int 32 has 32 spaces, so you can create 32 different variables in a flag attribute if you use an int 32. Otherwise, you can change it to u long like this if you need more more uh, more than 32 variables in your enum so now when we go back here and see if it works we should have the permission read now as well now we have read delete and modify 
and the reason why read and delete and modify uh, it has changed order is because read here is the first one and then delete is the second one and modify is the last one so we even know the order uh, in your enum so this is how you add variables or enum values to our variables and we also know that we have 32 different spaces in the default enum and we also know that we have to put the previous value power to 2 to create the next uh, value in the enum and we also know that if we want more than 32 spaces we have to change the type the enum is deriving from and that is when we add the fly attribute here all right thank you for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial we will keep talking about enum with the fly attribute so see you in the next tutorial bye bye